What's up, Promise Keepers? It's your hood and holy, safe, and sexy auntie, cousin, sister, friend, and you're watching Happily Married Wifey TV. How you doing? How you living? How you loving over there? You good? I just stopped by to check on you. I hope you've had a wonderful day. I didn't want to take up much of your time. I just want to finish or we'll continue with the series that we've been doing on the five levels of intimacy. The first one we started with was spiritual intimacy. Then we moved on to intellectual intimacy. And from there we went to emotional intimacy. And the next phase, which is number four, is, drum roll please, physical intimacy. And I was thinking, isn't physical the same as sexual? Because sexual is number five. But no, physical has to do with just touch and closeness. Okay? So, you know, they always talk about the different love languages. And a lot of people... Um, love language as physical touch. They love to cuddle. They love to hug. They love little smooch, smooches and kisses and all that good stuff. And that's what physical intimacy is. You haven't moved into sex and intercourse, but it's just the closeness and the holding of the hands, rubbing of the face, the kissy poos, the cuddling and like I already said the spoon and being close when you're watching a movie everything so yeah that's what and it's self-explanatory I mean it means exactly what it says physical intimacy is when you um are just touching caressing and enjoying each other in that way to have been stimulated by converse, great conversation and you've watched the sunrise, which is the spiritual, or you, how magnificent God is in his creation, how he just makes everything work, right? Emotions start to get involved. You're, you're really feeling each other. And now you're close. You're snuggling all the time. That's great progression, okay? You are doing well on all levels of intimacy. And I'm proud of you. And that's what your relationship needs to keep moving forward, to get stronger, to get better, to stay together. And like I've told you in other videos, you're not always going to be at 100% at each level every day. And that's okay. Some days you're all about the physical. You want to smooch. Every time she pass, your wife passes you, you patting her on the butt. And every time your honey passes you, you putting them lips out to get a kiss. So some days, you know, physical is really high. Um, but not so much in the intellectual. Like you don't feel like talking some days. But if you have emotional intimacy, you can communicate that without even saying a word. And it's okay when you have emotional intimacy your spouse lets you be you. They know who you are. They know those little moods. And it's all good. So I'm excited that we are learning about the different phases of intimacy because we know, um, you know, that there's so many ways that we can grow close to one another. And uh, it's just putting that anchor further in the ground, okay, for us to have long-lasting marriages, long-lasting relationships. I want to be married till Jesus come. Oh, amen? So, learning about uh, the different phases and facets that um, love goes through, marriage goes through, every relationship has its good and bad days, has its ups and downs, but you can get through anything when you have spiritual connection. When you're emotionally invested, you can get through anything. 
So I want you to believe in love, believe that you can have the best marriage, whatever you dream. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And I make sure that I apply everything to marriage. So as a woman or man thinks of his marriage, so it is. So dream about a happy marriage full of love and romance, connection, hugging, kissing, touching, sweet conversations, connections that no man could put asunder. Companionship. Friendship, love, real love that's everlasting and that overlooks your flaws. It's all possible. Real love is possible. All you have to do is just believe and keep working at it. Marriages work because every day is not a, a picnic, <laughs> but love is worth it. When you get to the good part, you're like, yeah, we did that. And love is worth it. Love is worth it all the headache but i pray you have more good days than bad days so we're gonna come back tomorrow we're gonna finish off this series with sexual Ooh, we're gonna talk about sexual intimacy we really don't have we'll wait we'll hold it off till tomorrow um but yeah we'll talk about sexual intimacy and maybe put some tips in there on how you can make things better in the bedroom um there's always room for growth. Amen. I've been married 30 years and I'm always still looking for new ways to shock that man and to impress that man and him. Me too. He always, he's still just treating me like his girlfriend and I love it. That's what you're supposed to do. So, um, tomorrow we will get into sexual intimacy and we'll finish this little series out. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you will like this video, subscribe to the channel and share it, share it with anyone and everyone that you feel can benefit from this information. On this channel, we learn together. On this channel, we grow together. And on this channel, we love together. Go in there and kiss your honey bunny and practice some of that intimacy that you've been learning about. And I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Mm -hmm.